Hey, what's up? My name is Jenny. Welcome to Divine Family Tarot. Today, I'm going to be doing a reading for Capricorn. First, I'm going to be doing Capricorns dealing with the past person, then Capricorns in a current relationship, and then I'll do singles. Um, after that, I'll pull some cards for advice. I'll do some random oracles, which could tie this whole reading to you, or it doesn't have to. It's just random for you to interpret, or I can help you interpret them <laughs> a little bit. Then I'm going to do um, all signs to see what they're currently thinking about you. Then I will pull an oracle card at the very end and read that from the good old book. So let's start here with my Capricorns dealing with a past person. I got seven of swords and the moon on that split. Which is not great cards to have for a past, well, for anybody, not just a past person, anybody. Be dealing with an Aries. Everyone's chart is so big that you could be dealing with any sign. Some people have every every sign in their chart, some don't. So What you don't see coming is the strength card, possibly needing strength for something or holding back. Um, overall energy for this reading is the Page of Pentacles. So there's communication here. Page of Pentacles is very slow communication. It's also like um, friendly communication. You're showing up as the Seven of Cups. So you might be in a place where you're, you have options. I kind of feel like you have options. Um, you could also be a little confused to the situation here um, when it comes to that, because that is a card also of um, being in your shadow side is how I take that card. It's not just having options. It's having so many directions to go in that you're unclear for yourself what it is you truly want. That's something that can definitely come in for Capricorn. That's not for everybody. Um, that's the Seven of Cups to me. This person is coming out as a justice card. Um, you could be dealing with the Libra. They could be in a place where they, they feel happy with whatever is going on with them. Like I said, this is you and a past person. The energy between you guys is the Fool crossed by the Seven of Swords. So there's a new beginning here trying to be started. However, Seven of Swords means that old habits have not died. There's still a lot of things. From the past creeping up into a new beginning here. This I don't feel is a new person. This is kind of like trying to bring new energy into an old situation and it not working out. You're seeing this person as a star. Um, that means that you could see this person um, online. You could be watching them by those means. Or you see this person really being everything that they want to be. It's kind of like you're seeing this person as being happy, as being... Um, as healing as all this, right? They're seeing you as, sorry, I hit the mic. Let me make sure this thing is still on. It is. Okay. They're seeing you as a nine of wands. They're seeing you as not really giving this all the effort you used to. Um, but you have a tendency of jumping back into this and trying to make it work anyways. But they're seeing you as kind of holding back a little bit, maybe a little bit. Your intentions here is a seven of wands that could be um, having your boundaries up, trying to be very defensive as to what you want to create. Their intentions here is a nine of pentacles. So there's an element of either not moving or going slow as hell. So we'll see. Your action is a page of cups. I feel like um, 
You could be giving this person some communication, some efforts. Their actions is a nine of cups. It's very self-fulfilling. And the possible outcome is a temperance card that's healing, that's pointing it to your own cup. That's um, a lot of self in that energy. Let's see the seven of cups. I just dropped a bunch of cards. Hold on. I got to pick these up. I cannot not pick these up. Let's try this again without dropping them this time. Ay, ay, ay. Seven of Cups. Oh, you have options. You have options. I feel like you have options right now and you're not really making any moves towards the options you have. You're just kind of there. Feel like you have a lot on your plate right now. You you just got a lot of things going on anyways. Could be money related that you have things going on, but I'm seeing you having options. Be careful with these options. They're not all that great. Let's see the justice card for your past person. They might want to start something new with you, but they're not going to do it. There's an energy here of um, you needing to work on it. More of I'm just going to stay here. They probably want to come towards you, but there's not. they're not allowing themselves. They're kind of stopping themselves from coming towards you. Let's see the star card and how you see them. You see them as healing, working on themselves. We'll see why. So they might portray to you like that they're fine, that they're healing, all that. But it's like underneath it, you know better. You know that this person has that underlying sneakiness. There's something there you don't trust about them. They claim to have all these feelings, but yet they're not around. I don't know. This person is very manipulative. They're able to use their... Um, Manipulative. They're able to use their emotions to get what they want. You could view them as being very manipulative with their emotions. Like they can wrap you in almost. Yeah, they're seeing this as something that has ended. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be the Aquarius. Um, they're seeing this as something that has come to an end to some point, a lot of memories, a lot of things there between you, possibly you not wanting to jump back into this because of trust. You still have a lot of love for the situation, so they might not see you as wanting to jump all in, but those memories, that'll keep you tied. There's an emotional manipulation here. They're probably trying to get things back to the way they used to be, or maybe that's what you want to do. You might be trying to... There's an energy here of, okay, maybe this is not romantic right now. Let's start off as friends. Let's start off there again. And I don't know why I'm saying again. I'm saying again because I'm already seeing an ending here. This is a past reading. So it is what it is. And it's like wanting to bring new energy into this past relationship, wanting to start fresh. Let's not start from a place of love. Let's start from a place, from a place of friendship. However, this is a past person, okay? You've already experienced this appointment with this person. You're just going to erase that and act like it never happened and just what, wait for the red flags to pop back up again. And then 
if you do go back to the to the past to bring it up, oh, I thought you forgave that. I thought we were starting you. And then they do the same thing. That is what I'm seeing. So you might want to restart this person, this relationship with this person on a friendship level. It's not going to work out that way. And if this is not your reading, that's fine. But this is possibly trying to um, take emotions out of it a little bit, to go slower, to go more in a friendship way, and then kind of morph that because I'm seeing you still have feelings here. I see this person having intentions to kind of um, have more of a single energy. Um, I feel like they might have a lot of things going on. They're, they, they could be younger than you. This person talks a big game. They could talk a big game about what it is that they want. Um, what it is that they need in the future. Like they got all this confidence, all this boom. I know what I no, No, it's all talk. It's all talk. Take a look at this past person and really look at what they're, where they're at in their life. They're not moving. They're not moving forward in their life. All that talk, all that business talk, all that. I want to grow like this. I want to do this, do that. There's a lot of business talk here. There's a lot of growth talk here about this person, where they want to lead, where they want their lives to go, where they want their relationships to go, how they want that to look. But this person is not taking action on anything even themselves, like they're not going to that next step on their own. It's almost like they have plans for what they want you to do. So page of cups, that's, that's your action page of cups. I feel like you have a lot of emotions for this person still. And the reason I say a lot is you did come out with the king of cups here. Um, page of cups is a lot smaller in um, effort but still loving. This is showing that you might want to offer relationship here. You might want to offer something emotional, but there's a walking away to this. I don't see this working out. Um, this is the past person. So I'm not seeing you working it out with this person. I'm seeing you want to, but it's not coming to fruition. There could be a third party involved. It could have just been a lot of heartbreak here. And I mean, you have options. I'm seeing a lot of heartbreak here. I'm seeing you go towards something different. Nine of cups for their actions. Their actions are literally... I want to like kind of sit... I want to bring my legs up and sit down like that. So give me a second. I'm going to make myself more comfortable. Okay. Um, their actions here is communicating a lot of the same stuff. So if you're used to going in circles with this person on communication of how to make this work, of what looks equal, I don't see that happening. I'm seeing a lot of communication on this person's part, reinforcing this person's view of what this relationship should be. With the Nine of Cups there, it's about what they think. You're not being factored in here at all. It's more like, this is what I want. Uh, we've done this little dance before, is what I'm getting. Temperance is the outcome that's healing. That's uh, your energy all the way. With that healing energy. It's a Sag Sagittarius energy there. There's going to there's going to be a period where you're healing from this person. It's going to have to be an active decision. It's going to have to be an active decision on your part. It's uh very much calling you to reflect on this relationship, reflect on what's being offered here. There's a lot of wisdom to gain. And when I mean wisdom to gain, I'm like you guys are not on the same page. You and this past person are not on the same page. This person is very self-suiting. I feel like you have options. 
you're not really sure how to bring this back into anything. And I don't feel like you have the cooperation to actually bring this back into something mutual. This kind of looks like they know what they want for themselves. They might want you to fall in line with that. With the two of pentacles here, you might give us some thought. And that's under the judgment card. This is something you've already done. You might be expecting new energy to come out of this old situation. There's healing that needs to be done over that because it's not happening. Justice card. You're not going to get justice here. Two of Pentacles justice. Like, it's, this person is very much self-suiting. I'm sorry if that's not what you wanted to hear with your past person, but that's who they are. And if, and if you think this is wrong, that's fine. This isn't your reading, but this is someone who is very much worried about their happiness. You could, you could be dealing with somebody younger than you. There's fire in their chart, a lot of it. So that's what I'm getting between you and a past person. Let me move on to Capricorns dealing with a current person. Okay, Capricorn, dealing with a current person, let's take a look at your situation. I got to fill my gaps of time with small talk. The only thing is that I'm not very good at small talk because my small talk ends up being large talk and then I don't shut up and then I forget what I'm reading and then blah, blah, blah. And I'm trying not to do the small talk as much. If you know me in real life, it's just hard to get me to shut up. So let me just try to focus on your reading and not talking so much. All right. Current person for Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn and a current person? Well, you don't see it uh, coming is the three of pentacles possibly coming together. There's friendship here. There's partnership. There's something like that. Current energy for the reading is the two of pentacles. So that is you trying to make a decision about something. Um, this could be someone that you're dealing with currently. However, it doesn't mean that there's communication. I'm seeing kind of like this person is not communicating with you at the moment. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Leo. Um, Sagittarius, we got a lot of signs here. Um, fire, definitely. You're showing up as the lovers. That's a Gemini card. Um, it could be a lot of strong emotions that you have for this person. This is a lot of um, very strong. The lovers is not the two of cups. The lovers is not the anything of, of just regular cups it's very strong connection you might have to this person it's a very subconscious type of connection um this person on on their end they're getting the four of swords there's a lot of healing going on for them i feel like they might be taking a break they may may be keeping to themselves a lot even spending a lot of time at home with the four of swords um 
the energy between you is strength and ace of swords strength is holding back so there's a lot of holding back energy between you guys so i feel like there's not much movement here i got a lot of stuck cards that mean no movement um what's crossing is the ace of swords so that's a that's communication and it's like communication is being held back that's the energy between you and this person no communication at the moment you're seeing this person as the ace of wands that's very much attractive ace of wands is like mm, could be very sexual you and this current person um they're seeing you as a seven of swords there's a level of mistrust um they can also see you as being a bit of a planner i feel like when it comes to finances you might be a bit of a planner that's something that they notice about you however there's a sneaky energy they might not trust you completely because they're seeing you as being in the seven of swords um intentions here your intentions is the judgment card so this could be someone you're taking a break from you're trying to figure this out i feel like there's a decision needing to be made on your side with the judgment card being there this person's intentions is a hangman they don't they're not doing anything they're not going to do anything okay they're looking at things differently they're trying to be enlightened by the situation they're trying to look at the bright side but there's no action on this person's part four of swords the hangman there's no action on this person's part now the card that represents actions for them is the knight of pentacles more non-action uh, they're not moving towards you, whoever you're dealing with. Your actions, however, is the three of cups. This could be a reunion. This could be reuniting as friends. There is a friendship element here. I said that earlier with what you didn't see coming. Um, this could be efforts into kind of bringing something back together here with you and this person. Possible outcome is a ten of pentacles. That's a very good card to have. So let's see what's going on. Let's clarify the lovers. Actually, no. Let's clarify the Two of Pentacles. That's the overall energy for the reading is juggling maybe having more than one option, trying to make a decision here. There's a decision here needing to be made whether you come towards this person or not because this person's not taking any action towards you. I feel like uh, this is something that's been on your mind. This is something that you've been trying to make a decision about. Feel like this person is taking a lot of time to themselves currently it's a lot of attraction here and you're wondering if you should even try let's see the lover's card for your energy it's very possible that you and this person have not been in a relationship in the past that this is someone new in your life but you're kind of trying to figure out if you should even approach. That's not for everybody. It's just for some of you. I'm getting that this is a new person because the fool did come out. And that's a new card. This is like stressing about starting something new with someone here you feel very connected to. Um, not really being able to see how that would work out for you. It, it's being it's very heavy on you with the nine of swords and the ten of wands so it's a lot of thinking about how how can i make this happen how can this be a thing there's a lot of overthinking and it's making things difficult for you i don't feel like this energy should be that heavy um it's a very very deep connection for you like i said with the lovers being there and then the energy's coming out it's a lot of overthinking on your on your part Let's see the Four of Swords for their energy. Mm. 
this person has a lot of emotions. I feel like they're also very guarded. Um, I don't feel like they're in a place where they're welcoming love necessarily, just friendship. With the Three of Pentacles being there, there's an element of I am guarding myself. I am healing myself. I am. This person has boundaries. So um, I'm not getting a, a combative energy. I'm getting more of a guarded. Um, this person's healing through a lot of things that they've experienced. So there's a lot of I'm just healing right now. <laughs> I'm just healing right now. Just want to find things that don't cross my boundaries, people that don't disrespect me. I'm just kind of like feeling my way out of whatever I've been going through. This person is also represented as the King of Cups. So they got a lot of emotions here. You can know this person through work with Three of Pentacles being there, or maybe through school for some of you. Let me clarify the Ace of Wands for how you see them. Like I said, a lot of attraction. It's very much a, an energy of wanting to come towards them, but then not doing it. You're seeing this person as somebody who probably is very attracted to you also. Um, there's a mutual, there's a mutual energy like that. However, you're waiting for this person to, it's like you're waiting for this person to take action towards you with these cards. Even though you have action available on your part and you want to, you're kind of waiting for them to do it. I don't know. You probably know they're healing over something. Seven of swords for how they see you, which is not the best energy. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. I'm just burping up a storm. I haven't even eaten anything yet. Sorry. Wow. What in the world is going on? Okay. You got seven of swords at the bottom of the deck and they see you as a seven of swords. So they don't trust you. They think you're very sneaky. They see you as having a lot of potential. You could be younger than this person. There's a lot of happiness tied to you. There's this person wants something long term with you. There's a lot of emotions here, a lot of feelings, a lot of happy cards, but they're not going to tell you because they don't trust you. Pretty much. They don't trust you, but they see so much potential in you. I don't know why they don't trust you. It could be something from their past. It could be something that they dealt with with you. I don't know. You would know that. It doesn't always have to be that they don't trust you because it's something you did. It could be something someone else did, something they experienced that kind of triggered them. It's up to you, it's up to, you to make that fit. And if it doesn't fit, then it's not your rating. <laughs> this person doesn't trust you. So, Judgment card for your intentions. And you get the judgment again, along with temperance. So I feel like you want to come back in to speak to this person. You're giving it time. You're trying to let things rest and settle. Not really sure what happened between you guys, but there's a lot of healing energy here on your side. I feel like there's a lot of attraction. Like you really want to go towards this person, but you're giving it time and you're trying to make a decision. That's all I know. Hangman for their intentions. You're really be called to make a decision on this. You got judgment over judgment, like for intentions. This, that's what it is. This person's intentions, they want love. They want love. They want, they want love, but they're not going to tell you. They're going to keep that to themselves. I feel like this person's also in a place where they might be saving up money or they might be working on their finances. I feel like they're very private at the moment with what they want. I feel like they're going to express everything that they want this to be. I'm seeing them want something more emotional with you. And I'm seeing more of a physical connection on your part. So 
you could be like, oh my God, this person's so hot. And they could be like, oh my God, I like Capricorn so much. So it's kind of like not on the same page where there's, a, there's mutual attraction. There is mutual feeling to a certain degree. Um, but they have more of that vulnerability tied to them. That's why they're trying to hold back more. You have more of a physical, um, you want more physical with them is what I'm getting. Knight of Pentacles for their actions, which is no action or slow action. I don't feel like they're going to move towards you at all. You got three cards of inaction to represent this person. Just saying. Yeah, this person rather walk away from anything that doesn't seem to suit them. If they feel stuck in a situation, they're not going to stay there. So I'm seeing this person walking away from anything that makes them overthink or feel stuck. Yeah, there's healing on their side. There's goals that they want to get to. And they're at a place where they feel like they're being manipulated or there's a place of mental stuckness i don't see them sticking around i see them wanting to exit left so that's what i'm getting for their actions is very much if if there's no movement here i'm i'm leaving <laughs> if there's no movement here i'm leaving which is funny because there's a lot of cards of no movement on their side they want to have something happen here but they they don't trust you so that's why they're not moving towards you there's trust issues. Three of cups for your actions. I don't see you taking action. So it's funny because it's the three of cups is a card of reuniting. It's the card of bringing two people back together, being three people back together. It could be multiple parties and any, anything like that, right? This is a reunion card, a celebration card. But you get the death, king of swords, and the four of cups there. So it's like letting this die off because of an emotional unavailability you may have. Very much not wanting to bring this together because you're not on the same page because this person has more of emotions than you. And you're not at a place where you want to entertain emotions is what it kind of looks like to me. It looks more physical for you. I'm going to say that that is your perception because the lover's card is showing up in your energy. So this is very much an emotional connection. You just don't want to see it that way. So keep that in mind if you can't get this person off of your head off of your mind, out of your brain. It's not because you just want to screw them. Just saying. Wow, that's a really good outcome. So I don't know if you guys are going to work on this or what, but I'm seeing a coming together. I'm seeing a very good outcome for this situation. I was not expecting all those cards because I don't see this moving, this person moving towards you, and I don't really see you moving towards them, but somehow it's working itself out. You get the Ten of Pentacles twice. Um, Eight of Pentacles and the Empress. There's a chance for pregnancy here if you guys were to get together. I'm seeing a lot of pregnancy cards. Um, I'm not sure if you and this person have been intimate yet or will be. Um, I'm also seeing like an energy of working towards building a better you with the empress being there and the eight of pentacles. It's very much you focusing on your happiness more than anything else. Now that is good cards for you guys together. Don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, this is your reading Capricorn. I'm seeing your money greatly increase, greatly increase. Let me see two more cards for this when it comes to this person attached to you. I kid you not, this is going to work out. I don't know how, whoever it is you got on your mind. It's like 10 of cups, six of cups, 
it's like a blessing in disguise. I, I don't know who this person is to you, but there's a lot of good luck tied to you and this person. This is amazing. I haven't seen something like that in a while. For some of you guys, this could be a twin flame connection coming in for you, a soulmate connection, something along those lines. There is so much potential here that I do hope you guys get on the same page. I feel like you can meet this person through work or there's something here about you guys even working together in the future. Um, like I said, there could be kids involved. Yeah, this seems like a really good connection. I need advice because there's not, I'm seeing a good outcome, but I'm not seeing the advice. Let me just go straight towards advice. Which deck am I using? Okay. Advice. You're getting the same cards almost from these little ones, uh, King of Cups, Ten of Cups, and Knight of Cups. Your advice here is if you know you have a lot of emotions for something that can make you happy, go ahead and go for it. This is, this is something with potential. This is something that does bring you happiness. It's saying to go for it. Pretty clear cut. So that's if you're dealing with the current person now. If this current person is not the person I described as this current person that you're dealing with is very toxic, very secretive, very, then this isn't the reading for you. Don't think that this is about someone who is like that just because you want to make it fit into your narrative. If you already know that your person that you're currently dealing with does not feel those emotions for you, it's, it's not that intense. Well, then this isn't that person. This is somebody else. Single Capricorns, let's see what's coming in for you. What's coming in for my single Capricorns? I don't have any balance sometimes. It has nothing to do with anything but me. What's coming in for my single Capricorns? Except for me not being able to shuffle. <laughs> it is the caffeine. Overall energy for the singles reading, which I wasn't going to pull this card, but this is things turning. This is a turn of events. This is things changing in your life. Um, Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. So you're going to be doing a lot better with your money. Um, I don't know why I put that back. I'm using the same deck to clarify. So this new person coming in, it could be that they're coming in due to, it could be a breakup. It could be loss of something in their life. I feel like you're going to meet this person or come into contact with this new person at a point where they're just, their life is in shambles. <laughs> their life is in shambles with the 10 of wands and the tower. They're going through a difficult, difficult time in their life. Um, that's who this new, new person is coming into your life. Intentions is the four of wands and the two of cups. That could be very much wanting things to grow with you, having a lot of emotions for you. Um, 
maybe even starting off as friends. This is a card of wanting something mutual here with you, wanting to share something with you. It's more than just like the Ace of Cups, which is one-sided. This is more two-sided. They want something, they want something equal. Outcome, possible outcome is the Six of Pentacles in the Sun, very much tied to what it is that they want. Um, I feel like this person is willing to give to this. There is happiness tied here. Um, there is potential here with this new person. But let's see, let's clarify a little more, especially the energy of how they are when you meet them. Let me clarify the Ten of Wands and the Tower. Like I said, there's a lot of things changing for you and even for this person coming into your life. That was the Lover's card. And I am using a different deck in each spread. So. This person um, could be younger than you, doesn't have to be. I feel like this person is going through a lot. There's some depression here. There's some, a lot of lessons being learned, a lot of wisdom. I feel like um, this person connects a lot to their passions. They're going through a lot that you do not know about with the moon card being there next to the hermit. A lot of sadness over something in their life. A lot of things being difficult for them when you meet them. A lot of subconscious things kind of coming up for this person to look at. One more. How will you know who this is? Because there could be potential there with the Ten of Cups. I mean, Ten of Pentacles. This person can have a dog. There's, that's funny. There's two little Italian greyhounds on this card. I have an Italian greyhound. Anyways, Dakota's not here right now. If you, if you've seen her in my, any of my previous videos, she's, she's with her dad. Um, you'll know who this person is because you'll feel a sense of potential there. Potential and what this person can bring. There's a stability factor there, even though they're going through a lot. So intentions, let's clarify their intentions. They are growing. They're growing. And when I say growing, I mean they're walking away from everything that doesn't serve them. Their intentions is to let heartbreak be in the past, to let that backstabbing BS be in their past. There's an intention here of wanting to glow up, wanting to be better, wanting a lot more stability in their life, wanting to be a lot more in control over the things that they're experiencing. They really do want good things here there is a chance of pregnancy here as well i'm getting a lot of pregnancy cards um i feel like you would be very attracted to this person with the empress coming out in their intentions and their energy there's a lot of attraction there they're walking away from things i feel like that's another way you're going to know who they are is maybe they were hurt in the past. Maybe they were backstabbed by somebody in their past. And this is that situation was a catalyst to make them grow into what it is that they want now and to making them see what it is that they want mutually, see what they want out of commitment. Possible outcome here with the six of pentacles and the sun. Well, if you're not in a place where you're where you can welcome this into your life, um, that's okay too. I feel like 
there's a lot of confusion here tied to this. Um, maybe because of the energy they have coming in. Who knows? But there is a level of, wait a minute. Let me see if this is really what it is. And a level of confusion coming over the whole thing. There's a stuckness here. There is a coldness here. There's somebody here not over things happening in their past. It could be this new person. It could be you. Take it how it resonates. Any advice for this new connection coming in? It has potential, but someone's not going to let it flow. I'm not sure if it's you or them. If you're holding on to something in your past, that could be you. I don't feel like it's this person holding up this connection because I see them walking away from things in their past. Someone here is holding on to their past. It isn't this person. It could be you still trying to figure out things from your past and you not really knowing if you want to move forward with this person. It's very much that type of energy. Advice. The advice that you have here is start slow. You have everything you need here to make this work. There's uh, an element of communication and action. Now, this is just saying take things slow. This is saying take things slow. I know that the Ace of Swords is fast action, but the reason I say take it slow is because the magician is there in the middle. The magician is there in the middle, which means you have everything you need to make this happen. I don't see a, a need for rushing with these cards because there's a lot of conflicting. You know, someone here is going through something while someone else wants something different. Um, initiate slow communication. Initiate slow communication with the page of cups is advice. So let's move to advice for capricorn on a more general sense that's not tied to relationships wow this reading ran a lot longer than i wanted it to advice for capricorn some advice for Capricorn. What you don't see coming is ghost. Overall reading, overall energy for the reading is comfort, hunger, sadness, success, and creativity is your advice. I feel like Hunger and sadness is telling me that there's goals you want to get to. There are things you want to achieve in life, but your emotions are getting the best of you with sadness being here. I feel like you might be stuck in a place where it is comfortable to feel these sad emotions and you're okay with where you're at. However, success and creativity, sadness is blocking that for you. There is a level of you being sad here. You need to deal with that. Because that is blocking your success. That's blocking your creativity and your comfort. You're just comfortable there where you're at. Let me clarify sadness. Rest, illumination, and ghost. I feel like if you were ghosted in the past, that's part of your sadness. Now, rest and illumination is, is asking you to take a look at whatever situations suddenly dropped out of your life with the ghost card. If you were ghosted or if you were just suddenly cut off, okay, you're not looking at this for what it really is. This person that possibly hurt you in the past and cut you off and did all that it's like you missing them you wanting them back you wondering what went on there you're not resting enough to really look at the situation you need to see that this person wasn't for you this person wasn't supposed to be in your life 
they're probably somebody you're used to with that comfort card. You're being asked to take a look at that. Take a look at why you might miss someone who walked out on you. That's not someone to miss. That's someone to dismiss. Just like they did to you. So that's what you're being called to look at, Capricorn. We're going to pick some random oracles for you. I'm going to take three from each of these piles. And if any of them, any other ones fall out, I'll take them too. These can resonate with you. They don't need to. Okay. And you get flag. Don't be tempted to lower your standards. We all do that sometimes. Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Don't lower your standards for that person. Scissors, disappointment in some affair. February could be an important month for you, or there could have been stuff that happened this past February that were important to you. Haystack, karma, you will reap what you have sown. That could be good or bad. That you know, what have you what have you given to people? What are you treating people like? Are you fucking with people? Are you being cool with people? What does that mean for you? Purse. Pay attention to your finances. So that's what I'm getting for the randoms. That is advice for you also. Now we're going to do our all signs portion. I'm going to go all the way from Aries to Pisces to see what that specific sign wants to say to you if you're dealing with a person from that, from that sign. Let's do it. For those of you dealing with an Aries, I am not available. Taurus. I wish I had treated you better. Gemini. I knew exactly what I was doing. Cancer. You didn't imagine it. Leo, we will be together again. Virgo, you and I were too young. Libra, I hid who I really am from you. Scorpio, I scared myself that day. Sagittarius, I've been here before with others. Capricorn, I hope you're happy. Aquarius, I wish you would come back. Pisces, I took the easy way out. Ugh. I took the easy way out. I feel you leaving me behind and I understand you better now. For Pisces, you get all those. Whoa, Pisces got something to say to you. You could be dealing with a Pisces. And that is your all signs portion. Now we're going to pick an oracle card for you. And I'm going to read it from the book. And that is your messages for the week. Or month. Or whatever. <laughs> or until the next reading, right? Oracle card for Capricorn. Spirit, what would you like Capricorn to know? I guess that's your card, the one that flew off. And you get, get into nature.
Go outside and feel the sun on your face or the wind in your hair. Breathe in clean, fresh air. Walk through riverbeds or feel the soft green grass under your feet. Find balance and be one with the natural world, just as the Tinglet people have done for thousands of years. Look at how much time you are spending inside, especially in air conditioning or artif artificial heating or under fluorescent lights. Your body needs to recharge by having access to natural light and fresh air. Notice how good it feels when you walk outside and experience the world around you. Take a look around at everything nature has provided for you. Your home, your clothing, your food are all gifts from Mother Earth. This card is encouraging you to look at how you can give thanks by limiting waste and sharing resources and knowledge with those you are close to, who you are close to. Look at ways you can reduce your demands on yourself and your environment for happier, more balanced living. Also, I know a lot of people who work outside. This doesn't mean that you get nature in by working outside unless you're a landscaper. Um, this says to get into nature, trees, grass, things like that, you know, concrete world in downtown and you going, you know, you going to work in downtown and you're outside commuting. That's not what it means to get into nature. Just like you, letting you know that that's not what that means. Not work related. Take time off and connect with the mother earth loves you. Okay. Um, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did hit like, share, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you next time.